Welcome to Airworthy Tours, your guide in the sky. My name is Captain Phillip, and today I'm gonna to serve as your tour guide and pilot as we head to Bayou St. John, a picturesque waterfront that's situated in the middle of New Orleans. Now, before we get started, if you would like to be a part of our future tours, please hit the subscribe button right now. We are clear for takeoff, so sit back, relax, and enjoy your tour. In the early 18th century, as traders searched for an easier way to access the Mississippi River, Native Americans shared their knowledge of Bayou St. John as a shortcut. By 1718, a handful of settlers began building along the high ground near the waterway and founded the city of New Orleans. Below is Spanish Fort, established by the French in the early 18th century to protect New Orleans from attack by way of Lake Pontchartrain. Rebuilt by the Spanish in 1779 and restored by the Americans in 1808. Also a quick view of the Greek Orthodox Church that sits right along on Bayou St. John. Bayou St. John is four miles long, stretching from Lake Pontchartrain to Mid-City. It ranges from 200 to 700 feet wide and has a maximum water depth of 9 feet. In the 19th century, an area along Bayou St. John was the location of many voodoo rituals by Marie Laveau after they were banned from the French Quarter in Congo Square. Bayou St. John also runs along City Park. We'll be doing a tour on City Park soon, so stay tuned. The Magnolia Bridge, Bayou St. John's most popular crossing. Heading to the Bayou St. John neighborhood, which holds a mix of architecture found across New Orleans including Victorian, Creole, and French colonial country homes. If you're looking for a Bayou waterfront view, the medium home price in the neighborhood is $384,000. Below is the Pito House, the former house of the first mayor of New Orleans. Coming towards the end of Bayou St. John, it doesn't look like much, but in May, a very fun festival occurs called Bayou Boogaloo. For three days, the waterway is jam-packed with kayaks, rafts, and other makeshift floating devices. Traditionally, this area has also been a gathering place for the Mardi Gras Indians on St. Joseph's Day as well. Thank you for flying with Airworthy Tours today. If you enjoyed your tour, you can tip your tour guide by hitting the like button. Also, let us know what you liked or did not like in the comment section below. And if you would like to be a part of future aerial tours, please consider subscribing to the channel. Once again, thank you for flying with Airworthy Tours, and we look forward to seeing you on our next flight.